hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so today in this video i am going to give you a rough study plan for the iit jam 2026 exam uh, iit jam exam is in the month of february so you can consider uh, max to max six months are left so you should have a proper study schedule uh, such that you can complete almost all the things within this period uh, and this is very important to feel confident before the exam. Now, in IIT exam 2026, there is a section of biology and there are also few questions from physics, chemistry and mathematics. Now, for biology, first look at the syllabus. There are few modules like cell biology, immunology, uh, biotechnology, biochemistry or animal physiology. Now, there might be few modules for which you are well prepared and few modules for which your preparation is not that good. Now, uh, start your preparation with the modules for which your preparation is good. Uh, you just need to revise few things. Now, let's assume you are reading cell biology. You have uh, already read the topics, but uh, due to lack of revision, uh, might be you have read that topic uh, six months or one year ago. So most of the things you have forgot, the, but the basic concepts are there in your mind. So while revision, try to uh, revise from the online lectures, online one shot lectures, because the revision will be very fast if you follow online lectures. Now you can uh, follow any channel like IFAS or Physics Wala or any teacher uh, who suits you. The channel is not important. If you are able to connect with the teacher, if the lecture has enough information, then this lecture is fine. Now, I followed a lecture by Mamta Me, Mamta Marar uh, in the IFAS channel and you can also uh, follow the her lecture for cell biology. Similarly, there are different topics and you can choose any, any teacher according to your preference. Now, while you are revising uh, with the help of online lectures, uh, try not to keep detailed notes because uh, that will that will be taking a lot of time. Uh, rather, try to revise things from the PDF of that lecture. And suppose uh, a, a lecture has a total of 40 or 50 slides, but when the teacher has completed teaching 5 slides, Try to pause the lecture and uh, read again again the past or previous five slides uh, from the PDF, such that uh, you don't forget the things which are just taught. So in this way, you after watching the whole uh, lecture, might be it will uh, take a bit longer time um, than uh, like uh, watching the whole lecture without pausing it, but. Uh, uh, your preparation will be better after watching the whole lecture uh, you will be able to memorize the things which are just taught so in this way you can uh, uh, complete your topics of biology now you can also follow pathfinder life science books but this book focuses mainly on information so there are lots of information in the book but uh, the understanding part is uh, bit ignored in this book so you can also follow the book if you like but uh, whenever you feel that there are lots of information which are not necessary unnecessary you can easily uh, skip them uh, you just need to have the basic concept and the key informations which are occurring so you can also follow pathfinder life science books now uh, for the two months like uh, this is august august and september or mid october till now uh, try to cover almost all the topics of biology so you have to just uh, read the like uh, watch the online lectures and uh, revise the things from the pdfs now for your understanding you can note down certain things but uh, try to avoid taking detailed notes which are going to take a lot of time so uh, in this way you can revise your things of biology now after revising a particular module like uh, you have completed revising cell biology or immunology or genetics uh, try to solve all the previous year questions and try to maintain a good notebook while you are solving the PIQs and highlight the difficult questions which I always say now uh, for physics chemistry and mathematics uh, which is also important now you can 
uh, follow any uh, one shot lecture for NEET. Now uh, many of you asked me that uh, uh, many lectures are longer than even 6 hours or 8 hours. Now there is a different kind of lecture in YouTube uh, which are called mind map series which, fo which focuses mainly on uh, formulas. The teacher generally highlight all the important formulas and there might be few question practice but the theory portion is very less on that lectures and I think uh, if you don't have already a good grip on that chapter uh, you will not going to understand that properly. So try to avoid that that mind map series but uh, if a lecture of the mind map series is long enough like two to three hours long then you can once check it out and if there is a theory portion and after watching watching the lecture you are able to solve the previous year questions of IIT jam then you can uh, follow the mind map series of that particular faculty but generally mind map series focuses on formula and you will not be able to understand the topic watching the mind map series lecture so you should keep in mind that now in this way uh, simultaneously with biology you should uh, try to complete important chapters of physics, chemistry and mathematics. First of all, uh, focus on the important chapters. I have made a separate video regarding physics, chemistry and mathematics preparation. As well as for JGBLS exam, I also made a video. Uh, there I have also mentioned the important chapters for PCM. Uh, you can watch that videos such that uh, you can understand uh, which chapters to focus on mainly. Now, so in the uh, next two months uh, almost all the chapters of your biology will be covered and all the important uh, topics of physics chemistry and mathematics uh, should be covered now there are specific topics which uh, you may feel difficult such that you can skip for later but overall you should complete try to complete all the major topics now uh, uh, simultaneously you have to uh, practice all the previous year questions of physics chemistry and maths as well now uh, after two months when there will will be only four months for the exam try to solve like uh, attempt uh, test series now you can uh, refer to test series of physics or Bansal biology but in I first test series I personally felt that many questions are wrong and they are not up to that level so I, I will not recommend you to buy I first test series but you can buy Bansal biology or physics wala. so for the four months, uh, I would say for the three months, uh, try to focus on uh, solving test series. Simultaneously revise the topics which you you are unable to complete during the two month period. Now, uh, for many of you, your college is going on simultaneously, uh, and it will be difficult to manage uh, college studies with with the IIT exam preparation. Now there might be several topics in your college which are also in the IIT exam syllabus. So try to uh, read that topics full concentration in your college when the particular faculty of your college is teaching you that topic such that you don't need to worry about that particular topic because they are also in your college syllabus. And uh, these entrance exams are very important uh, if your college CGPA uh, becomes a bit lower than uh, what would be if you continuously focus on your college studies it will not going to affect you that much but if your com competitive exams uh, is not that well so it will like hamper your future so you should mainly focus on the competitive exams entrance exams like IIT exam or GATE or JGBLS which are important now so for the three months period you have to mainly focus on test series as well as uh, revising the things uh, which you could not complete during this two month period as well as whenever you are solving a test series there are certain questions which you are not able to solve so uh, during solution like uh, whenever you have completed attempting the series and you are watching at the solution uh, so uh, during solution was the, the theory portion only so theory behind a particular question you should revise uh, while attempting the solution of the test series so simultaneously you are uh, like solving a test series and revising things during uh, solving the questions also and for the last month like 
whenever there will remain only one month for the exam you can also focus on the theory portion you have to also focus on like question practicing but again you have to switch uh, to a bit theory portion than the regular question practice because you have already practiced lot of questions for the previous five months so i would make a separate video for the last month strategy but till now uh, try to focus on theory portion and pyk practice for the next two months and for the uh, next three months like uh, third fourth and fifth month uh, you have to mainly focus on solving the test series and for the last month i would make a separate video uh, so if you have any question regarding your preparation you can ask me in the comment section i will try to uh, answer that as soon as possible and thank you